Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Motorcycle Rewind. Today we are with the Honda CB550K 1978 model and our job is to uh, pull off the factory carb and, um, and the factory throttle cable here and install this nice bit of kit. Um, a pair of Makuni VM34s. You see I've got the intakes to go from four into two. Uh, these are the boots that go here. The um, air filters that go on the end. So that's our task today. So I'm gonna set you guys up. We'll kind of talk through it as we go through it, but it's basically just pulling off the tank, side covers, air cleaners, and then working our way through the whole thing to uh, get it all off so that we can then put the, um, the new bit of kit on. So super excited. So let's go ahead and get started. It's first thing. Popping the seat up. Popping the seat up. I'll pull these. This motorcycle is super dirty, but we'll get it good and clean after. Oh, this one, I forgot this one's busted here. Okay, got some snips so I can cut this. I had to zip it. Had to zip tie this just so you can see it. Had to zip tie because the tab is broken off on this side. So I zipped it just so I could keep using it. Still looking for a good tab if I can find one. So let's go ahead and snip this off. Yep, good as new. We'll save that here. We should end up with a pile of parts. The other thing I am going to do is charge this battery. It's been sitting, hasn't been running uh, a while. So I'm going to go ahead and charge the battery while we're doing all this. Okay, so that's up, that's charging. Let me pull the tank off next and then I'll get the other side cover off. The one thing too with this video is I am going to try to run through this in one go. So you'll see it real time installing this uh, kit so you know exactly how long to budget or not budget for it. So let me go ahead and pull that off, get the tank off. We'll set it over here. We will end up with a pile of parts off to the side. So there we go. Now it exposes everything. So I'm gonna start pulling off. Thankfully, I've been monkeying around with these uh, carburetors for a while. So I'm, a lot of stuff has been uh, kind of taken apart. Let me just come through here. That'll be the easy way. And then the easy way. Thankfully, I, I just put these on so I could screw them all in from the same side. And then this one from up top. And I am, once I get this, uh, this kit off, I'm gonna pull these carbs, clean them up really good so that they're really serviceable. If somebody needs them, we, I'll probably keep them, we we'll probably won't sell them, but we'll have them in case. Oh, this motorcycle's gonna get a bath too. Okay. Okay. Let me get some. So let's see if I can get this guy out. Seems like the hardest thing I'll do today is try to loosen up this adjuster. There we go. Looks like we're getting some headway now. I'll store the cables with the carb so I don't have to worry about it. That I have everything we need. Got it. Yeah. Okay, that's throttle cable free, free as a bird. Now, choke. 
Phillips head screwdriver on this, or JIS on these. The cables may be the most difficult thing I do today. Carb is free. Carb off, that part's done. I think what I'm going to do is boots. I think I'm gonna, um, yep, I think I can get these out. These, try to fish these guys through. Keep track of where that tank rubber went. Put it back up so I don't lose it. There we go. And then let me route this choke cable through because I will not need it anymore. Thankfully I brought snips so we can cut these off. Okay. Okay, good. That's it for now. Now we're we'll turn our attention to this guy. Again, looks like the cabling, throttle cable may be the hardest part of this whole setup is pulling old cables out and putting new cables in. These intakes on first, I think is what we're going to do. Then we'll route that. So everything is off so far. We're all good. Everything is out. Everything is off. And then now it looks like I'm just popping these guys on. Let me just pre-loosen some of these so I can Kind of make life a little easier, but it comes pretty equipped, soup to nuts, everything you need to go ahead and uh, do it. Pre-jetted, everything's ready to go. All you have to do is pop it on. So I'm gonna go ahead and put first one on. We're gonna pull these down so they give me room. Pull these down. Again, this may or may not be a pro tip. Again, we're trying to figure this out I've exactly installed none of these kits. So this, but this logically seems like it should help make life a little easier, get those out of the way. I can work on these. Okay, so maybe I can call that a pro tip. One down, make sure this guy boots seated all the way. Looks like I'm on. Make sure this guy is on. Oh, that didn't work. A few moments later. Slide it back all the way to the end. Awesome. I am super excited about this. I really enjoyed this this motorcycle. I think it's a it's a, a great size, easy to handle. It's super comfortable and uh, a lot of fun to ride. It's, it's lightweight, it, it feels power to weight. I think it's as, as good or better than a, a 750. It does more, the CB750, it does more than what you want it to do. You know, I, I ride up a Yamaha XS650 pretty regularly. And I really enjoy this size. Of it. Plus, it's a four-cylinder. It's so smooth versus the uh, XS650 XS2 that I ride all the time. It's a, just a twin, so it, it's a little, uh, the vibration is awesome, to say the least, right? Make sure that's on all the way. I'm still trying to figure out how that carburetor is going to fit in there. Are you guys thinking the same thing? And if somebody's installed one of these kits before, let me know down in the comments below what your pro tips were for doing that. This is, again, not an expert, and there's a guy in his garage trying to sort stuff out. Click, torqued. That feels pretty stable. I was, I was curious about how strong this link, this connection was gonna be 
it with vibration if it was going to come off, but it feels pretty stable uh, because there's nothing to to secure the carburetor anywhere else. I may make a little uh, bracket just to hold the carburetors up so there's not so much pressure right here. Um, but that could be overkill. You guys let me know if there's something you've done, if you've done this kit, if you felt the need to, you know, secure your carburetor a bit. So let's jump to the other side and do the same thing again. Now, let's see if I have to I can guarantee this, this is way easier than putting on that carb rail with those four carbs. Added the, uh, the boots, we go ahead and tighten the boots up onto the carburetor. We're gonna see if that is the, the way to go. Let me figure out which way these guys are gonna go. Okay, I think it's gonna go. Don't want these things getting all twisted up, so. That guy's gonna go over there, this guy's gonna go over here. Okay, Let's see if I got some room to get this guy in. Should have thought about this before. Okay, that guy will go there, this guy will go here. So let me get this guy in. So that's the, I think that's the secret, is going in and into the center. Uh, and then coming back underneath. Let's see if this guy fits in. I'm not getting a good, I'm not getting a good fit right here. Let's see if I get this one. When in doubt, let's try the other one. Okay, that one seems to be going on. Looks like my, let's see, I can get this guy out of the way. I need a little bit more. is on. No, that looks like it. That looks like that's it. Right there. Looks like I can tighten that guy down. That one looks like it's it. Let me go ahead and tighten that guy down. I may flip that over. It looks like this intake's hooking out this way. I may have put it in. It may have been when you guys were supposed to tell me which side it was supposed to be on. You may have led me astray. I think I may just have to flip this guy and get it to um, get it to go the other way. So let's find out. Yeah, you heard that, right? Heard that little pop. So everything we talked about before, look. You can see it's sitting right up on top. The angle of this is going there. And even before, I'm gonna go ahead and tighten it down, but I feel as though we're on to something. So speed, uh, speed moto, moto uh, thing that would be awesome. Let me just get this guy on all the way. Thing that would be awesome is if they labeled these uh, top or bottom or left or right. So that since they are a little, they're not centered, it's done to drive it to the center just so that it would make life easier or to fit it up yourself and mark it before you get too far down the road uh, on doing it. So you don't have to uh, do it multiple times like I, like I did. But the good thing is I am so good at uh, these clamps now. I've, I've put them on and taken them off so many times that I am so good at it. That as you can see, I mean really, I, I would dare to say I'm, I'm not an expert, but I know people that are really good at these clamps. So let me get this guy good and tight. That's the, the German spec, good and tight. Even though it's a Japanese motorcycle, but it'll still work. 
Okay, let me get this guy specced up. I have put this side on so many times. Three, four, five, just as though it said in the manual. One, two, three. Click and click. There we go. That's it. Now, let's see. Back by popular demand. That goes on just as it was designed to do. Except, let me just make sure it's on all the way. Am I bumping anything? Oh, I am. I'm on the wrong side here. Let me get this guy here, so I'm running into. Come on, sucker. Loosen this guy up just a little bit. Give me a little bit more room to get that guy on because it looks like it goes on all the way to the weld. That looks like it. Oh, looks like it wants to wiggle off. And probably... The reason is, let me just do this. Let me get this guy a little tighter first. We'll hold it up, clamp it on. I got the um, carb put on. I've got the cable, uh, the throttle cable routed. You can see I routed it up this way on this side, up through, so it should give me enough enough room to be able to uh, to have plenty of play to be able to turn all the way to the left and then now the only thing I have to do is a couple of screws got the tank installed went ahead and uh, got the fuel line all sorted put the T in there put the fuel line connected to both carburetors so we're all good only thing we got to do now is uh, we're going to put a little bit of fuel in it. Battery is still charging. We're going to put a little fuel in it and then uh, give it a go. See if it, how it's going to, uh, see how it's going to work out. There we go. Got that sorted. Got that tank on. Make sure fuel is on. Fuel's on. That's on. I don't know if I need choke or not choke. Choke, I'm guessing down is on. Oh. Let's see if I can hand choke it a little bit to get some gas in there. Get some gas in there so the bowls are broken. That's off choke. Seems to be idled up a bit too fast. but I think I may want to take this for a rip. Nope. It seems like it's idling down. Let me give it a little bit of gas. Let me adjust this. I don't think it's going to take a little bit of tweaking. I, I didn't even check the air fuel screws. So... Sounds 
pretty good. We'll have to tweak it. But yeah. let's let me grab a screwdriver. Take it with me and then go if I need to tune it I can tune it and kind of tweak it a little bit on the way so excited I haven't ridden this motorcycle in a while I do need to idle idle that down idle that down a little bit So let's give this a go. Say, what do you know? We'll just take it for a lap through the neighborhood. Oh, that didn't, that didn't go well. I may have a new favorite motorcycle. This, guys, <clears throat> let me pop it. So let me get you over here. Okay, so I may, I'm still gonna have to tweak it a little bit. First ride, first, first glance at this. Oh boy, this thing is awesome. It, everything about it, it it's got way better throttle response than it's ever had, it revs through the the uh, through the RPM so much but it's got so much power I mean it felt so good it felt so good all the way through so I still need to go through and and tweak it a bit you know I'm doing it just you saw it I got this thing started and then I jumped on it and wrote it off kind of tweaked the idle a little bit I, don't, I only wrote it maybe a, a mile or so uh, within the neighborhood maybe a little bit more than that but about halfway through the road uh, Tomorrow, what I'll do, or Sunday, what I'll do is we'll go ahead and get a, a good, really good first ride. We'll um, clean the bike up really well. I've got to go ahead and make sure the tires, I got I to put air in the tires, they're low. I got to make sure they're, uh, they're balanced. I got to true the wheels up a little bit. Uh, and then uh, we'll take it on a, on a little rip. We'll take it around, but so far, first glance at this, uh, VM34 kit, uh, I'm, I'm saying worth the money. I'm saying jump on it. I'll leave, leave a link in the description for it. And then we'll do a further in-depth. We'll actually get some riding on it and we'll see how it goes and through, but uh, throughout. But this uh, motorcycle, it was always fun to ride before. It was always fun to ride, but now with this Makuni VM34 kit, complete from Speed Moto. Uh, co.com is 100% worth it. I, I think this is going to make this bike so much more fun. It was already fun, but it's got it had so much more power than it's ever had before, and um, it just feels good, sounds good, all the way through. So, guys, thanks for uh, for tuning in to this uh, struggle bus that we're on installing this VM34 uh, carb kit. But if I can do it, anybody can do it. So thanks again. We'll catch you guys next time and have a great day.